Namaste. Welcome everyone to Satsang today. Some faces I've not seen for some time. It's very nice to see you. Well, nice to see everyone, of course. I never have in my mind that somehow I could rely upon the next day or the next thing, whatever that might be. I'm saying this because each time I feel opportunity like this to sit with you, sit together, I would feel, what if it's the last time? It doesn't feel strange to me to say, what if it was the last time? What is the only time that we really have is now. And looking throughout what you may call a life, I've only ever known now. I've never experienced tomorrow. But I'm saying this because to invite you into the deepest part of your attention what if all the opportunity and the time you have, and I don't know what each one really deeply yearns for, but the time is now. What I feel is in my heart to share with you. It is not personal. There is no end to the personal's journey. It is that which is common and at the heart of every living being. And what I have come to feel is the most important discovery. To move beyond the, the limited field and the field of suffering. Now I know many of you have come to that seeing. And it might seem as though even that may appear to be not constant, but it is not true. It will only seem not constant if it is being watched from the position of personhood. It is the person that is not constant. So really the invitation is to reverse that seeing, to see from the true place because no state of personhood is reliable. And to come to that place, that will never fail you. Because in that place you have no ambition. The flawless place of pure consciousness. So our Sangha has reached a certain place where I say what is being shared now could not have been shared three years ago or five or ten years ago. Maybe the whole Sangha had to be prepared and evolving and the evolution is always towards the most simple. Our path is not a creative path, so that some will feel I'm not creative enough. It's universal, and universal consciousness. And it is totally available. Even to say it is available is not quite true. It is fundamental. So I don't know him, how many people understand in the heart what I'm pointing to. Because of this, I have really not gone into relating to people at personal level about personal problems or even the mind stuff is coming. You cannot afford to give so much attention to what goes here because it is not stable. And if you have been walking this path step by step with us, 
you must transcend it. You must have the discipline, the clarity, to know not to feed your mind and the state of personhood, because it will always, this is the, the place, the belly of the person can never be full. It's never fulfilled. So I hope we're on good ground. And so I would just like to check how many people are finding the present guidance, the commitment to freedom, relevant and present and alive for them. And you don't have to put your hands up because everybody else is seen to put their hand up. It must be true for you. Okay. Um, I feel you share on this that I'm often still seeing from person. Yes. And that I cannot confirm my true place. Yes. If you're always seeing from person, it must be something beyond the person that sees that. Slowly, slow down. We're not in a hurry. If you are seeing is true, all of us feed, you say, very, mm, very ongoingly. I notice, it is noticed in me, that my mind takes personal shape all the time. We are going to do an exercise today of this kind of observation that should be current and made use of in the Sangha. And the power of it, so many already are living in. It's not a one-off exercise or been there, done that, let's move on. So that you can see that this, this movement of uh, the person mind is still going, I, it's, it's okay, it's okay, you see, you see it. What's important is that I'm asking, what is it that sees the the, the shaking mind. Is that also shaking? Please check. Anybody can check right now. What's seeing the mind is still personal and so on. What is see, that which is seeing the personal mind, is it also personal? Is it shaking? You see, you've all come to that seeing, but you're not persistent. Get a bit lazy. And it's understandable, the laziness, because years and years of conditioning and conditioned behavior supports laziness for this looking. Mm. Something don't want to look. It just feels, ah, I'd rather go and build a spaceship in my backyard and go to Venus than to sit down by yourself and really look. You say, wow, how can it be so strong? Uh, this mind is like, it's just going. You know why? It's never been questioned. Actually, it's not a big deal, but out of the force of habit, it's got a little bit erratic. And it's never been questioned. Mostly, it's been cooperated with. You follow? Because no one taught us that we, you know why it goes on? Because we have identified with it. Because it goes by the name of I, me, also. I just can't concentrate. I just find it so, who is speaking? Who is speaking? The ghost in your head call you. And so she says, you, it's John, Margaret, and Philip, whatever name he goes, but it, pre but it feels like it is the I am that's speaking. It's not the I am that's speaking. It is the, the, the limited self that is speaking. And you know what? All over the world, he is the tenant all over the world. In every group, is the same, it's the person. So I don't tell you, fight it. I said, learn to observe. And we are going to 
take a little moment to look, to show you what observing feel like. And you're going to see that there's somehow, many of you have done already, to see that there's strong resistance to just sitting. And at least you find out something, and the something you find out is that even against your will. Tomato sauce, hot dog, holiday, email, he's there. I said, just sit. Email. <laughs> Time. And it's very irritating, but at least you're feeling it and seeing and that you have a choice. But you must exercise that choice and be persistent and having some discipline and courage and a little faith and you will transcend it. I feel the exercise you are giving recently is really helping. Yes. But I, I need to persist. Like I, yes, yes. I put an alarm clock and like with the little stick you did during the retreat. I got it here, my <laughs> stick. I'm not going to hit anybody with it. <laughs> it's coming out also. Okay. It's, it's really helping. It just it, yeah. every time you tick, like, come back, come back. Yeah. Yes. Some people, she sit half an hour, they come and say, Bobby, can I sit a bit more? I say, of course, you can sit all your life if you want. No, not all your life, but you know, as much as it feels right for you, you, you do. Why? Because it may be the most painful. Oh, keep looking at the clock. The longest five minutes you have ever spent. Like the clock is going backwards, but no, 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 no. Because your mind is giving you a hard ride. And then if you finally find out, oh, you want to go have a cup of tea, eat sandwich, everything. The mind wants to be paid for all the suffering it had to endure. But soon afterwards, you can't wait to go back. And you go back, why? Because you're tasting your freedom. Isn't it? Yes. And all I say, you persist and persist. And it doesn't matter how much, how disloyal, because we had never trained the mind to be loyal. To be loyal to your partner, to your job, but to yourself, no. No. But to my friends and to this and whatever, loyal. But to yourself, no. Now you're training it to be even loyal to yourself. Don't worry about whether he's loyal or not. But you bring your attention and you sit. And it doesn't matter how many times you drift. Don't judge. Fall off the horse, get back on. Fall off. Okay? Somebody said, but the horse is too high. Okay, give your pony. Okay, follow up. Pony. <laughs> okay, whatever it is, we sit. Now it's time. Now it's time. Now it's time. Now it's time. So, we're going to do uh, 10 minutes. When you hear this, like that, it just rather, it's, it really means stay empty. Because occasionally you're going to feel some uh, and then you're going to find the head dropping when you've been sleeping for eight hours. And now you're up. And, uh, so you will hear again like this, just for the exercise today. And it just means, and sometimes I will say something, just a little bit. We're good. Is there anybody not up for this? Okay, and so we'll start a little bit bell, I'll do ten minutes and we will we will stop like that. Reminding that the purpose is stay empty as beingness. Does everybody understand that? Yeah. And just be empty. Don't picture emptiness. Okay? Don't create a picture of emptiness.
empty, naked emptiness. Your mind is going to bring you some wonderful insights, beautiful sayings and aphorisms, but not now. Beautiful slice of cake and all kind of stuff, not now. You say, wow, the mind is so busy trying to please me at the moment. But not now. And just, just learn to stay. Re refuse uh, the invitations of the mind. And just keep coming back. This, this thing I offer today is the most great giving yourself back to yourself. Whatever pictures come to the mind, reject. You cannot stop them from coming, but stay only as the pure awareness in which things come and go. Simple. We are not going anywhere. No journey. No content. No pictures.
Don't follow the mind. Stay empty. Awareness only. No content. beyond enjoying or not enjoying. Just keep coming back. Empty awareness. Stay upright. Any feeling of sleepiness is not true sleepiness. Just a play of distractedness. Awareness only. Okay. <coughs> Difficult? <laughs> About a little bit.
five minutes. Open eyes. Awareness eyes only. Eyes open, no thinking. No identity. No demonstration.
no mind. 